Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, then welcome. Today's pick a card reading is... What comes to mind when they think of you? In front of me, I have three different options, each with a different number and color. Choose the one that really calls out to you. This is group one, group two, and group three. Okay, let's get started. Hey, group number one. Okay, so what comes to mind when they think of you? Okay, so the first thing that comes to me is with this Ten of Wands in particular, it's like, they see you as being somebody who is independent and self-sufficient, almost to the point of not letting them in, okay? Like, they feel like you almost have something to prove to yourself in the world that, like, I can do it. I can do it by myself. I don't need you. Even if that's not true, that's like the vibe that's coming through. And it's coming across that this person wants you to let them in, okay? And I feel like, you know, you two show interest one minute and then not the next. And then ultimately they kind of feel like you're both just at this friend level, Okay. I feel like you guys are going to say the same thing. It has a very mirroring feeling to it. Like, I feel like a lot of you are going to be like, no, I'm, d I'm interested, you know? And yeah, I'm independent. They're the one who's interested one minute and then backs away the next. So we're stuck at this friend level. Okay. Well, either way, I'm definitely getting like a mirroring going on between you two where that's the case. Like what I call back and forth vibes. You're very focused too right now. Okay. They know that they see that like you've got a lot on your plate so to speak and you know you're just you're very focused you've got a lot of things to do right now is like what's coming across okay so you're very busy very goal driven it's like you don't have a lot of time you know to see them or really make plans with anyone currently is what's coming through okay so let's take a look at the message cards to get a glimpse even further into what comes to mind when they think of you Okay, so we have like this beaming yes. Okay, they're acting like, yes, this is what I want, regardless of the mixed messages you might feel like you're getting. If I asked you to stay, would you leave? Okay, so that's them wondering like, if I actually came forward and approached you, would you reject me or would you want this too? Yeah, nah. Okay, so that's them kind of like one minute wanting to pursue this and then the next minute kind of psyching themselves out by being too much into their head, you know, overthinking this whole thing and then they just like lose the courage to approach you. Do you think about me too? Okay, so you've really got them wondering like where they can't get a read on you. Okay, so it's like making them really wonder like where do you stand with all this? I do get the feeling that they try to Look at your social media if you have it, you know, any stories you post and are like trying to gauge like any clues if you're interested in them or not. I feel like you're not interested. Okay, so that's them when they psych themselves out and overthink, you know, they just feel like they're really in the dark as far as you go with this connection. But then at the same time, we have quit playing. I know you want me. So there is a part of them like half of them that's like no like I know what I am detecting like energy doesn't lie and there's a part there's a part of both of you that are like quit playing I know you want me so that's interesting they say I can't explain it but I love it that's the connection they feel with you they feel like it's unique you know one of a kind they don't feel this way with just anybody so they realize you know like this is special. You make me feel like I can do anything. Okay, so they really feel like an elevated version of themselves when they think of you and how they feel. Okay, so you got them feeling like they can do anything. They also say you make them want to be a better person, like all around, like they want to be the best version of themselves. They feel extra motivated with you in their life. So you have this positive ripple effect on them. And they say you act like you've moved on. Okay, so like if there's a lack of communication or seeing each other, 
there's a part of them that like says like you don't want this to you know like that's the yeah nah like one minute they're like all right you know we actually could make progress here we can move forward with this we both want the same thing and then they're like no they either read into something too much you know with what you text or message or say or due to the lack of communication and they're like you must have moved on by now so if you're getting back and forth vibes this is why They say you excite me. Yeah, I get like this feeling of like a kid on Christmas. Like they just feel so exhilarated, you know, when they think of you or uh, what you two could be. Like they imagine like a future together. They just they know a good thing when they experience it. And with you, they're like just excited for the possibilities. Like when they do entertain this connection with you. I mean, have you got me doing things I never do? Okay, so yeah, they might be talking different, dressing different. And it's not that they're being somebody they're not. Like, you bring this boldness to this person where all of a sudden they want to be all they can be, you know? And like experiment like just try new things whether it's with their looks how they act it's interesting like open up this world of possibilities for this person whereas they might have been kind of you know like in their own boxed identity and now it's kind of like they're just they feel free to like explore and like you know just be however they want to be so that's interesting but yeah I do see though that they they're definitely reading into this situation with you. So it's like the less communication, the more they get in their head. But I do see, though, overall, they do want to explore this connection with you, group one. Okay, group number one, this is what I see for you guys. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, feel free to anytime. You can email me your questions and choose a payment option on Linktree. All that information is in the description or you can find it in the community tab. Thank you all so much for being here. Bye. Hey, group number two. Okay, so what comes to mind when they think of you? Okay, so instantly what I'm seeing is this person finds you guys to be mysterious, okay? Like they can't get a read on you. Wow, that is the vibe for this video today. I got that with group one as well, but yours is definitely coming across as being like more mysterious. The other group felt like they were like in the dark completely. Okay. So I just get like, you know, you guys playing it cool. You're kind of in observer mode right now, trying to get a read on your person. They're trying to get a read on you. Okay, so you're both kind of mirroring that. And I do see a lack of action as far as this connection progressing. So I get this interest between you two, this spark, this chemistry. And all of a sudden, it's like the actions aren't matching just yet. Okay. Yeah, it's like a work in progress, like waiting for a plant to grow. It's slow moving. It's moving, but it's slow, you know. But then I do like seeing the six of pentacles here. Okay. Like I get this mutual interest, the mutual attraction, a mutual wanting to explore this connection. Okay. Also, you know, air and earth is coming through strong. So it's possible one of you could be an air sign or an earth sign. But either way, that's the energy that's coming through. Okay, let's take a look at the message cards to get a glimpse even further into what comes to mind when they think of you. They say, I need more time. Okay, I was definitely getting that with the lack of action. I just want space. Okay, so this person is definitely pulling like a four of swords type of energy with you right now. Like they're there one minute and then all of a sudden they like back off and they go into their own little cocoon, you know, to get the rest that they feel like they need right now. Like that's the whole I'm doing me right now. Like what's best for me and that would be not communicating with you and not seeing you right now that doesn't mean like indefinitely just right now but then they do say I'm coming trust okay which actually that clarifies the seven of pentacles perfectly because you're looking out to see any results you don't see any just yet but that doesn't mean that things aren't in the works you know like a plant growing for instance so 
that's them trying to be like, hey, I know like it doesn't look good right now as far as us goes, as far as you and I go, but like, I do want this and I am coming. Trust. Okay. And they say my life started when I met you. Yeah. Okay. Mic drop, right? Like, that's just it. This person knows like this connection that you two have with each other. It's strong. And, you know, especially I'm getting for a lot of you, this is a newer connection. So like you're both kind of like baffled when you think about it logically. You're like, what? Like, how? How do we feel this way? Like, we haven't spoken that much, you know? But any interaction has been like electric, right? Like there's this magnetism between you guys. Yeah. So they're definitely trying to wrap their head around it is what I'm seeing. But at the same time, you know, there's definitely more going on in their life than what you realize. You get like this big picture view going on here. And it's like, that's really the main reason for the lack of action. Okay, it doesn't have to do with you. So that's the part where you just have to trust in the bigger picture and the unfolding of it and not like judge how it's going currently is what I'm seeing. Again, that's going to go for most of you choosing this. But if it comes to you like, mm -mm, like I've waited too long, if they're still not moving forward, I'm done, then that's the message that's meant for you. But for the rest of you, there's like a lot going on here like in this person's life right now, whenever you hear this, because it's timeless and it's just the message is to trust in the unfolding without judging it. They say my world doesn't feel right when, and that's like when we're not together, when we're not talking. Okay. So they don't feel right in like not communicating with you. It's just what they feel like they have to do right now. They say you're so beautiful, okay, and if you're a guy, you're so handsome, so they really are admiring you, even if they don't tell you that. They say this is too risky, it's not over till it's over. All right, so there's another message coming through, and it's going to be for a smaller portion of you where you two were romantically involved to any capacity. It could even just be talking, and you guys might have had a falling out or didn't see eye to eye or did something that kind of shifted the connection, okay? And that's the reason for the space. Okay, so two different messages are coming through. For the majority of you, I'm getting, though, that the space is due to this person. Just, like I said, like they got a lot going on that they need to tend to right now. But then for a smaller portion of you, this is like somebody you were involved with. And that's the reason for the space on top of whatever's going on in their life. And there's a part of them that's like, this is too risky. Like you are what I want more than anyone. But and then the other part of them is like, it's not over till it's over. I still have hope for this connection. They say I'm trying hard to act like not being with you doesn't bother me. OK, that could be for either story that's going on here this person definitely is the type that wants to come across like nothing phases them so even if they want to be with you more than anybody else and more than being single they're going to act like it doesn't bother them so try not to read too much into social media especially if they're posting like they're living their best life they say i don't understand what went wrong between us and i regret messing things up with you Okay, so even though they act like they don't understand what went wrong, they're still like acknowledging like, I'm sorry for my part in what made us disconnect from each other. Okay, again, that's for the people that there was some kind of falling out between you two. For the rest of you, though, that message isn't for you. But for both groups, they say, you've got me imagining a future together. Okay, so person, regardless of your story, they want to explore this connection with you. It's just going to take some time, but they want you to trust that they're coming. Okay, group number two, this is what I see for you guys. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, feel free to anytime. You can email me your questions and choose a payment option on Linktree. All that information is in the description or you can find it in the community tab. Thank you all so much for being here. Bye guys. Hey group number three. 
Okay, so what comes to mind when they think of you? All right, so instantly I see that this person's like, they see you to be like a force of nature. Okay, I'm not kidding. Like when you're around, when you walk into a room, it's like there's this whirlwind of fiery energy. Whether you're a fire sign or not, that's like how you come across. You have this very bold, courageous energy about you and you're very you're a very passionate person okay sometimes they even see you as a bit of a know-it-all but the truth is you're just very knowledgeable and you can be opinionative so it's like not only are you spitting facts but you've got like things to back up your facts you know what I mean like you're just a very well-rounded knowledgeable individual they think though currently like they're in denial about how you feel about this person and feel like you know deep down they think like we both know we want to be together why are we acting like this why are we playing this game they really do see a future with you and they feel like you do too but at the same time they don't want to scare you off is what I'm seeing this has like one of those like deep down we both know that we want each other but we're both kind of playing like we don't like we're keeping this on the low they think like playing this game okay so let's take a look at the message cards to get a glimpse even further and what comes to mind when they think of you Okay, so they start off with saying, I'm sorry. Okay, they're sorry for their part in this disconnect, if you two feel disconnected from each other. Okay, so that message is going to go for some of you, but not all of you. And they say, do you even see me that way? Okay, so there's a part of them, like, it was coming through, like, you know, they think you're in denial of your feelings, but at the same time, they also are like, or am I reading into this too much? And there's actually no feelings there. So they don't know. They say, I never imagined so much perfection. Okay. So they definitely view you guys highly. They think you are just like the full package and they'd be so lucky to have you. They say, I want to start a family with you. Yeah, I was picking up on that with the Empress here. Like, they definitely could see having, want to build a future with you. That could involve a family or not, but either way, they want to be a family with you. They say, I'm too afraid to talk. You are so beautiful. Why do you need me? Okay, so that's interesting. We have two cards here that say you guys are so beautiful and if you're a guy watching this like you're so handsome and that little bit that says why do you need me and I'm afraid to talk to you I feel like this person you know sometimes they get too caught up in their head and they psych themselves out talk themselves out of this connection with you or with talking to you even though I feel like it's mutual like with the two of cups here it's a very like coming together both of you mutually interested mutually attracted and mutually wanting to explore this connection so it's kind of one of those things where if they could get out of their head and just be in the moment like it would unfold naturally between you two They say my world isn't the same without you. Yeah, I feel like they felt on top of the world when they were talking to you or seeing you, just feeling connected to you. Now that you two are coming across like you're not connected or not talking or seeing each other, I just feel like, like things just aren't the same without you and they want to make it right. They say, I think about you all the time. So yeah, regardless of the lack of communication or seeing each other, I still feel really connected to you guys. You are everything I ever wanted in a person. Group three. This is probably one of the clearest, clear-cut, straightforward readings I've ever gotten for you guys, which is refreshing. No one makes me feel the way you do. Point blank mic drop. <laughs> You've got me dreaming of a future together. Yep. Was definitely picking up on that with the Empress. I want to start a family with you and you've got me dreaming of a future together. Not to mention all the nines that came through. This person is literally ready to shut the door on the past once and for all and move forward with this, like entering a new chapter in life with you is what I'm seeing. Okay, group number three, this is what I see for you. 
If it resonated, let me know in the comments. And if it did, don't forget to give it a like. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, feel free to anytime. You can email me your questions and choose a payment option on Linktree. All that information is in the description or you can find it in the community tab. Thank you all so much for being here. Bye guys.